Okay, so we're going to take an example of, of a sixth order mix. So this is actually a sixth order mixed partial. One, two, three, four, five, six of this function. Okay, that that's doesn't uh, that looks a little scary, but it's actually not that hard. Okay, and and the way you want to think about this is this function is not multiplicatively separable as I've written, but it's a sum of three functions. Sum of Now, each of these is multiplicatively separable. And I mean, this one actually is e to the y times e to the z. So each one is of the form function of s and function of y and function of z. Okay? So, and you know that differentiation is additive. So to find this thing, it's enough to calculate the, the, the corresponding derivatives of each of these. Okay, let's, let's start with this last one. What is going to be what will happen when I differentiate it thrice with respect to x, twice with respect to y, and once with respect to z? Zero. Zero. Why? Because uh, x is only of degree one. Yeah. So just so if you remember, I mean, if you think about going back to multiplicative separable functions, the way you differentiate it is you just differentiate each piece with respect to that variable. Okay. So in this case, x gets differentiated three times, e to the y gets differentiated uh, two times, and e to the z gets differentiated one time, but x already differentiating three times gives you zero, zero. because the degree is is uh, less than three. Okay, what about this one? x cubed, what happens when you differentiate x cubed three times? Six. So you get three x squared, then you get six x, and you get six. Okay, now cosine y, what happens when you differentiate cosine y two times? Uh, it goes back, but the sign becomes negative. So you get negative cosine y. What about sine z? How many times do you have to differentiate sine z? Once. Once. So what's that? Cosine z. Okay, good. What about this one? Uh, x to the 4, you need to differentiate it. Three times. Three times. Okay, so you get 4x cubed, then 12x squared. 24x. 24 24x. Okay. Okay, now sine y you need to differentiate how many times? Twice. Twice. So you'll get negative sine y. Negative sine y. And Cosine z you need to differentiate it how many times? Once. So what do you get? Negative sine z. Negative sine z. Okay, so what does this become? So this is 24x, these negatives cancel out, so you get 24x sine y sine z minus 6 cosine y. Okay, awesome. So this was, this is a, this is an example. And now you could, you don't actually have to use this multiplicative separable principle. You could actually do, differentiate it with respect to x thrice, then differentiate that with respect to y. It won't take you much longer. It's not, it's, this doesn't save you a lot of time, but it does make it conceptually clearer what is happening.